Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Let's solve this problem. In this problem, we are required to determine the magnitude and direction of this FA, right? Uh, so that the resultant force is directed along the positive x-axis and has a magnitude of 1250 Newton, right? So the resultant magnitude is given which is 1250 Newton and the resultant is acting in the positive x axis is right and the fb magnitude is also given right so we have to find this fa and the angle of this fa with the y axis is right this theta we need to find this theta so if i draw the free body diagram so let's say that this is that fa vector right we will aid fa and fb by using the head to tail rule right so then we will be able to find that resultant right so if this is fa so then by head to tail rule f fb should be from the head of fa right and this will be the resultant of both of these right we are given that the resultant is acting in the positive x axis that is it is making zero degree angle with the positive x axis right so if if this is my positive x and y axis is right So this is our FR vector, right? So we can write that this is FR, right? This is FA. FA magnitude is not known. We have to find that magnitude and this theta, right? This is positive x-axis. This is positive y-axis. This is FB. FB magnitude is given. This is 800 Newton, right? And FR magnitude is given. This is how much? This is 1250 Newton, right? so and let's say that this angle is alpha right and similarly we are given that this fb is making 30 degree with the positive x axis right so if i draw a a horizontal line here so this fb is making 30 degree here right this angle is 30 degrees right so if this angle is 30 degrees then this angle is also 30 degrees both of these angles are alternate angles right now if we apply the cosine's law so we can write that f a square is equal to f b square which is 800 plus f r square which is 1250 square minus 2 into 800 into 1250 into cos of the included angle between 800 and 1250 right so this is 30 degrees so we will write that this is cos of 30 degrees right so we want to find the magnitude of fa so then we can take the square root right so from this the fa magnitude is 686 newton approximately right and then since we want to find this theta so from here we can say that theta plus alpha equals to 90 degrees so we are interested in theta so then theta is 90 minus alpha so then we have to find this alpha first right so again if we apply the sine's law so if i write that sine of alpha divided by the magnitude of the opposite side which is 800 equals to sine of 30 divided by the magnitude of the opposite vector fa the magnitude is now known which is 686 newtons so from this we can write that sine of alpha equals to 800 sine of 30 degrees divided by 686 or we can write that alpha equals to sine inverse of this thing right so from this alpha equals to 35.67 degrees so we we have to find this theta so then this theta is 90 minus alpha which is 35.67 degrees so from this theta is 54.33 degrees right so the magnitude of fa is 686 newtons and that fa is making 54.33 degrees with the positive y axis right so this is the solution of this particular problem